There is a frightening Olachai Makodosh in the beginning of Parashas Titzavi. I'm well aware that today is Parashas Beshalach, and yet, the Olachai Makodosh brings a Zoyar Chadash. And the Zoyar in Bereshis Davches says, There are four Galuyos. From the first one, we were redeemed for the merit of Avom Avinu, Allah Vashalom. From the second one, we were redeemed for the source of Yitzhak Avinu. From the third one, we were redeemed for the source of Yaakov Avinu. And from this fourth, long, bitter galus, we will be redeemed for the source of Moshe Rabbeinu. This is not very frightening, but now the Zohar Chaim Akoli says a very frightening statement. He quotes the Zohar. Moshe eino chafetz ligol am batlanim min ha-toyah. Again, Moshe eino chafetz ligol am batlanim min Atoyah, language of the Or Chaim HaKodesh, quoting the Zoya HaKodesh. Unbelievable. So it's all in the merit of Toya. This is the Zoya, but where is this alluded to in the Toya itself? Lake Amidi de Lor Mize Beweisa. Hafurba ve hafurba de kula ba, everything is in the Toya. If the Zoya says so, there's got to be somewhere that this is hinted to in the Toya. The answer is in our Pasha, and now we come back to Pasha's Veshalach. The Pasha says, Uvne Yisrael yotzim beyad rama. Literally, what does that mean? Excellent, strong hand. However, Ubnei Yisrael, the Pasuk asks, You want to finally get out of the Galus? The only way to do it is Beyad. Yad is Yoredea, Rashi Tevos. Rama, Simin Reish, Mem Hei, Hilchos, Talmud, Toira. You want to get out of the Galus? Moshe, Eino, Chafetz, Ligo, Lama, Batlani, Minat, Toira. The only way to do it is cling to Toira.